Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Accounting Superstar channel. This is Professor Don Bush. I'm glad you're here. I've been teaching accounting for about 30 years, been a CPA for about that long, and I've got great ways to explain accounting. So let's get started. Well, today we're going to learn how to fix mistakes in accounting, and mistakes happen all the time. Lots of people make mistakes. In fact, everybody in accounting makes mistakes at some point. And you will too. So it's a good idea to fix errors. Uh, I became pretty good at fixing accounting errors. Um, for one reason, I've made plenty of mistakes. But another is that many years ago, I owned my own accounting business. I, I did the accounting for lots and lots of businesses and there are a lot of bookkeepers and accountants working for those businesses and about once a week I would go and visit each of the businesses and uh, one of my jobs was to fix mistakes because uh, a mistake would happen and uh, they wouldn't know how to fix it at all and so that's what I did and so I became pretty good at it and I actually thought it was a lot of fun you have to be a little bit of a detective and and you have to be a little bit creative to figure out how you're gonna fix it so I, I enjoyed it it was one of my favorite things that I did. So here's what we have going on today. What I'm doing is I'm giving you a six-step process on how to fix mistakes. And uh, textbooks are not very good about uh, showing you how to think through errors. They'll, they'll give you lots of examples, but they don't give you a good process. So I've got this six-step process. And when you get good at this, and you've, you've practiced this, uh, you can get really fast at it. In fact, you just zoom through the six steps and, and usually fix mistakes pretty quickly. But at first, like anything else, you, you have to just be very methodical and have a little patience. So here's what's going on, folks, is that there was an error that happened right at the beginning of 2001. And it was not discovered until the end of 2002. And a lot of times it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But in this error here, it affects both 2001 and 2002. So we want to at least, if nothing else, fix 2002. So uh, what I like to do is I like to draw a little timeline. This is kind of a crude little timeline here going. But I like to mark down, OK, when the mistake happened, when we figure it out, are the books closed or not? I'll go into that a little bit more in a second. So here's the error. Here's what happened. On January 1st, 2001, right here at the beginning, the company purchased a two-year insurance policy paying cash $1,000. On that date, the account debited insurance expense and no adjusting entries were made at the end of 2001 and no entries at all were made in 2002 regarding this insurance expense. So this is a very common, easy mistake, especially for bookkeepers. Um, they'll, they'll do this all the time. And, and it's an easy mistake to fix, too. So uh, the next thing that you want to think about is, OK, so a mistake happened. The debit insurance expense. So so what? What, what? what does that do? What's the result? So insurance expense overstated in 2001 by $500. So insurance expense here at the beginning of 2001 was overstated by $500 and correspondingly it was understated by $500 in 2002 so both 2001 and 2002 are off and you're gonna find out with this error there's not much we can do so uh, when was the error discovered well we just discovered it here just now at the end of 2002 it's at the end of the year and we're going to do our best here to fix it and patch things up Really, most of these steps are just trying to understand what's going on. So here's the next thing that uh, would go through my mind when I was fixing mistakes, and that is, were there any incorrect errors done or not done? And what were the incorrect entries? Well, very typically, uh, on January 1st, 2001, insurance expense was debited for 1000 So right here at the very beginning, debited for 1000 credited cash and no entries were made in 2002 whatsoever. So uh, now there, there's no problem with cash here. Cash was uh, credited properly and, and um, spent, so cash is okay. But here's the next thing that you want to think about. All right, if they would have done things right, what should they have done? And the reason why you're doing the step number three is, is you're trying to patch things up and get things back to what should have really happened here as best you can. And, and you can't do that unless you know what they should have done. 
So January 1st, 2001, they should have debited prepaid insurance for 1000 Prepaid insurance, not insurance expense. And at the end of 2001, they should have debited insurance expense for 500 and credited prepaid insurance for 500 So what they're doing with that credit is they're amortizing away the prepaid insurance. They're amortizing it away, so they're reducing it. And that would have also given them the proper insurance expense for the year. And in uh, 2002, at the very end of 2002, they should have done the same thing. So rather than trying to fix a mistake, we should just be making this entry at the end of 2002. But unfortunately, it, things didn't go according to plan here. So insurance expense being debited, 500. Prepaid insurance, 500. Now it's important to note that by the end of 2002, prepaid insurance should be fully amortized away. Look at this. Prepaid insurance debit 1000. We're crediting it for 500, crediting it for another 500. That means at the end of 2002, prepaid insurance should be zero. Should be zero. Gone. So here's the next question. Are the books open or closed? What does that mean? Well, here's what it means is at the end of an accounting period, you do your adjusting entries and you print out your financial statements and if everything looks good and if the boss approves of it, you hit a button on the computer and the button uh, causes the computer screen to have this big flashing scary message on there saying, are you sure you want to close the books? And if you're sure, you say, yes, close the books. When the books are closed, that means you can no longer make journal entries for that period. You're closed out. And all of this is good. It's important that, it, that uh, accounting software uh, does this. And the reason why is you don't want people to uh, mysteriously or secretly go back and change the books uh, for prior periods. And, and people could do that unless the books were closed and the software just uh, locked you out. So it's a good thing. So here is what's going on. In 2001, the books are closed. So 2001, can't go back there and make journal entries. Uh, I made a few notes here. Cannot make journal entries dated 2001. Cannot change journal entries dated 2001. Everything in 2001 has been frozen. And it's also important to know that all of the uh, income statement accounts have been closed to retained earnings. So all the expenses and revenues cannot be uh, messed with. Now in 2002, the books are open. All accounts can be changed. And if the mistake would have happened in 2002, or if we if we would have figured this out in 2001, life would have been so much easier because what we could do if the books are open, we can just reverse out the bad entry and put in a good entry. And also, lastly, I've got a note here is you want to avoid creating new errors. That is, when you're trying to fix something, you don't want to mess things up worse. And I've done that uh, quite a few times. And it's no big deal. If you mess things up worse, you just reverse out what you did and try again. Try a different technique. Try a different uh, plan uh, for fixing things. Step number five, if incorrect entry made in current year and books are still open, we can reverse out the incorrect entry. And that would be so nice because it'd be easy. But no incorrect entries were made in 2002. They were made in 2001 and unfortunately the books are closed. So we are limited on what we can do. So here's what we're going to do to fix it. Step number six, we're going to make a correcting entry in the current year. So here we are at the end of 2002. We're going to debit insurance expense because we should have insurance expense of $500. If you look back up here to what should have happened, we should have insurance expense of $500. Now we, we cannot credit prepaid insurance because by the end of 2002, there's no more prepaid insurance. It's all gone, it should be zero. So if we credit prepaid insurance, that will make prepaid insurance have a credit balance and that'll be weird. So the only account available to us is retained earnings. And so we're going to credit retained earnings for $500. And there, there's a reason or two why we have to do that. The big reason is there's nothing else that we can debit or credit to make this work. And also the second reason is that 
The expenses in 2001 were overstated, which means income was understated. And so what we're doing is we're going to credit retained earnings and that brings up the understated retained earnings up to the proper balance. So there's really two reasons why we're doing this. So right here's the correcting entry, folks, right here, 2002. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first lesson on fixing mistakes. If you keep at it, you'll get good at it and you'll get fast at it. In fact, uh, when it comes to these six steps, uh, I've done this so much and so often fixing things that I, I just breeze through these six steps. Although you have to go through them, otherwise you might make the books worse than they were before. So uh, folks, if you enjoyed this video, let me know, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and until next time, over and out.